tell me something about yourself from which school you have studied which board you are from uh, my board is cbsc and uh, before going to kota i was in bangalore I was in national public school nps indranagar and over here i am in ddps and when you started your preparation for je main if i am talking about overall je then i started in at around the end of 10th midway of 10th and uh, later of 10th i started somewhere there and um, exclusively for je mains i can say like one month before the exam and for which exam day and shift you appeared for in january session so 27 january first shift so you are a like dropper or it's a, along with class 12 oh, you are preparing first time, first time. okay Yes. very poor in the first time yeah. like, congratulations also tell me uh, what is the different uh, strategy yeah. of your preparation in the last month and before like, that is there any shift from the preparation strategy before last month and in the last month wasn't really influenced too much uh, like i can say as per my daily schedule whatever study time i had planned yeah. in the last month i would say i had performed more papers like more of the past year j papers like 2022 and uh, earlier 2023 etc so yeah i spent more time solving papers and also analyzing my mistakes so how much time you devoted for the uh, each section and how you must you have studied in a day what was your daily schedule so my daily schedule would be i would get up at around 7 am and then i would get ready in about like uh, freshen up in around half an hour mm-hmm. uh, after that i would uh, get to s- start studying and mm-hmm. i mean it really depended on uh, which subject i felt like doing that day normally it would be i would start with probably something which involves calculation so like physical chemistry or mathematics then later during the day somewhere like stretching around uh, till 1 o'clock i would like shift my subject at around 11 o'clock or 11:30 to something theoretical where i can read then i would have lunch and like kind of process of whatever i have read after that i would again pick up some uh, problem solving type of subject most likely physics i would give physics uh, some time and uh, by around 5 pm again i would switch subject to something which is memorizing based so you can say ioc or oc then after that i would again do some theory then in between like around 6 pm i would normally take a break and uh, if it's playing badminton with my friends or um, just taking a walk around some, some, some form of break basically to relax then after that when i would come back i would have dinner and then i would get back to studying again and at the end of the day i would just summarize whatever i have done through the day yeah, that's my schedule so have you taken any coaching and it's a self study or how your coaching goes the preparation starts in the later half of 10th it was uh, self studies and i can say by the end of 10th i was in allen so okay. yeah coaching was uh, but you like the most about the coaching like uh, have you uh, prepared like taken mock test previous year question papers and what's the best part of your coaching you think is best and it help you in cracking the exam uh, i'd say there are two things one is the support from our teachers and faculties i would really like to thank all my teachers and well wishes so mm-hmm. like sometimes when i feel low they would be there to encourage me and support me uh, same goes about my parents as well i really thank them a lot and um, i would say that they really had coaching really helped me develop some subject knowledge because initially i was i used to think i was weak in chemistry and mathematics as compared to physics but that strengthened gradually over time another thing that i would say is a benefit of coaching is uh, probably the peer group the peer group like when you give every day class tests be it not not exactly jee main pattern like a one hour test or half an hour test just brief scoring it helps you really get a feel of where you stand compared to other best players of uh, the country so yeah it keeps you on your toes so is there any specific books you have prepared yeah uh, the ncrts are enough for your preparation i'd say the ncrts are very vital to j mains preparations considering j mains also just follows ncrt pretty accurately so yeah ncrts are enough sufficient for chemistry for physics also ncert is an interesting way of introducing concept but i'd say not exactly uh, books i was involved more so in solving the worksheets which we used to get our, uh, get in our coachings uh, for physics and mathematics for chemistry ncert is enough and okay. uh, 
also a certain degree of problem practice. During the session, um, do you face any problem with subjects or is it easy? The pattern is easy and actually the syllabus is reduced, right? So how yeah. you find this new examination pattern to, uh, compared to previous year? If we see the syllabus of JE advanced, it is still whatever was there in JE means plus more. So cutting down on the syllabus really did not have much effect apart from that. In the later few months, I had fewer chapters to focus on. So that was one thing. And uh, subject difficulty, I would say in J means physics and chemistry, I find them pretty easy. And maths can be calculative and lengthy. Are you preparing for a session two exam in April 1? Uh, I haven't decided yet completely. Most likely I will uh, probably forego it. Okay, you are appearing for J means. Hmm. Expecting. Okay. What are the activities you follow to de-stress yourself? It can be anything. Like uh, it can be talking to your parents about uh, non-academic stuff or catching up with some school friends or playing badminton with my friends here or just going for a walk or listening to music. Anything that brings you comfort. Uh, according to you, what you think are the key factors for your success? Firstly, like I would like to thank my parents and teachers. They really just helped me a lot. But my teachers used to emphasize how important, like even if you have the knowledge, it is necessary for you to be able to execute properly during the exam. So planning those three hours in which you give the exam, that is a very important part. And uh, another very important thing is self-confidence. Just believe that you can achieve what you have set out to achieve. Who is your ideal inspiration like uh, in the life and why? Probably Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam because okay. he was very humble and he achieved a lot and he would always encourage learning. Uh, do you want to give any special tips or your guidance to the aspirants who are appearing for April session? I would say just believe yourself. A lot of people don't... Uh, have confidence in themselves when they give the exam or okay. they get startled when they see the paper and uh, sometimes it's just panic which consumes students during the exam. So just have faith in yourself, trust yourself and know that you can achieve it too. Great, nice inspiration also. You are actually an inspiration to other aspirants who are appearing for April session. So uh, also I want to know why you want to study engineering. Is there any specific branch? You are uh, you want to get into? Is there any specific college you want to? Go? I'd say um, final destination is after IIT J advanced. That is IIT Bombay Computer Science. So okay. that is because um, IIT it opens gateways to many things. Like it provides a whole new spectrum of opportunities. So whether being it going further into the research field or entering the corporate world, and uh, I personally am inclined to. Uh, research and especially astrophysics so yeah i want to explore that further. so as your board exams are appearing uh, you are preparing for boards too so uh, once again congratulations and thank you for connecting with us also all the best for your board exams thanks a lot for thank you